John Schulte took the time to come from Washington, D.C. Um, because this is very important. This is uh, something we've worked with them. We don't have any other models like this, and they want to work, we want to work to, to perfect this one so that they can use this as a national model in other states. And I'll let John tell you a little bit about that. He's the executive director of the National Air Duct Cleaners Association. John, uh, feel free to take the podium. Good afternoon. First off, I'd like to thank Senator Bacon for taking this initiative. We, uh, we hear from a lot of people around the country, consumers who have these types of problems, not just here in Ohio, uh, but throughout the United States. We get a lot of calls at our office, and uh, it's, it's nice to see somebody taking some action to deal with this. So again, Senator, thank you. appreciate the opportunity to work with you and your staff to put together this legislation. We, uh, we've looked at some of the preliminary versions of the legislation. And when we started this process, we actually looked at contractor licensing laws across the United States. Um, through my job, I, I deal with those kind of things fairly regularly. So uh, what we did was really kind of uh, identify provisions that are effective uh, in other states and see if those were fit for Ohio. And uh, the Senate and the staff have been good to work with. All the provisions we've asked for, they were able to accommodate. So it's, uh, it's a good fit for us. Uh, I talk about the number of consumers who are impacted by these types of scams that, uh, that we're seeing on the Dateline segment. They happen every day. Uh, but there's also a lot of companies out there, contractors, entrepreneurs, running small businesses trying to earn a living, make payroll, and it's very difficult to compete and charge a fair price when you have somebody running a coupon trying to offer a whole house air duct cleaning for $49.95. Uh, quite frankly, anybody who's ever run a business knows you can't get your crew equipped and on location but just at cost to do that. It costs you more to get those people there. So uh, obviously there's no way somebody's going to do a good job in that situation. Uh, so it's, it's clearly a scam, and we do need some legislative help here to address this. Um, Senator mentioned that we're looking to develop this as model legislation. Uh, right now there are roughly 25 states around the country that have licenses for HVAC contractors, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning contractors, but there's nothing specific for air duct cleaning. So this will be the first legislation, licensing legislation of its kind in the United States. Uh, given the opportunity we have to strengthen the industry and help consumers, this is really important to us. And uh, we'll be looking for our members to support this uh, and also look for opportunities to implement this legislation in other states. If we get a chance to do this, we'd like to see it, see it done. Um, the, uh, Susan asked me to also uh, talk about the impact of uh, some of these scams. We, uh, we hear from consumers all the time. You know, you get, you get, I'll give you some examples just to give you a sense of what we're talking about when I, when I say scam. Uh, you have a consumer who thinks they're going to hire somebody to come in and do some work in their house, clean their heating and air conditioning system for under $100, and you'll have a technician come in He'll claim to run some test or not. Uh, he'll tell a consumer they have mold in their house or there's some reason why they can't do the job for the advertised price. Next thing you know, the consumer's looking at a bill for $1,000, $2,000, As a consumer, you might expect, you know, you sit here and you're like, well, obviously there's no way you would, you would accept that. You're expecting to pay, you know, under $100 and somebody says a couple thousand dollars, you're just going to say no. What happens is the technician will often tell them, well, you know, you have mold in your house and if you don't, if you don't clear this up, it can impact the health of your family. So a lot of times you have uh, an elderly person or a home, homeowner, a uh, housewife, usually, and uh, they're concerned about the health of their family and their kids. So believe it or not, this happens all the time. Uh, we're discussing this today. Quite often these, uh, these situations go uh, without having a complaint filed, 
because consumers either don't know uh, that they didn't get a good job done or got taken, uh, or quite frankly, they're too embarrassed. So given the volume and uh, the importance of this issue, uh, again, we, we thank the Senator and his staff for their work on this, and we look forward to supporting this initiative moving forward.